Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Friday. I know we say it, thank God it's Friday, but I thank God for every day. But we did make it to another week. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I tell you, it is in the 30s again here in the 757. It is raining. We might get a little bit of snow and flurries later on today. But we thank God for it. This is a day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and we're going to be glad in it. Oh my goodness, I always look forward to Fridays because I like to share my praise nugget. Let me tell you what my praise nugget is today. Praise him anyhow because he didn't have to do it. You know, back in the day, the saints used to say he didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to wake me up this morning. He didn't have to stop me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And you need to praise him. You know why? Because Psalm 107 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy. See, that's the thing. That's the thing I'm happy about. It was only because of his mercy <laughs> that he allowed us to wake up this morning, that he allowed us to breathe, that he allowed us to move, he allowed us to have our being, he allowed us to have um, food and, and shelter and clothing and all of these different things. Don't take it for granted that you were supposed to wake up this morning. You need to praise him anyhow. You know why? Another reason, because I love it, Lamentations 3, 22, 20 it is here it is again it is of the lord's mercies listen to me that we have not been consumed because his compassions fail not they are new come on now they are new every morning his mercies are new every morning great is thy faithfulness see every time i think about it that he didn't have to do or don't have to do the things that he did, but it was cause of his mercy. That's why you need to praise him anyhow, because he didn't have to do it, but he did. And I'm glad that he did. You ought to give him praise this morning. Every morning when you see you, some people take his blessings for granted. He did not have to do the things that he did or what he does or what he's getting ready to do. So you need to praise him anyhow because he didn't have to do it. You know, my son reminded me uh, lately uh, the song that I used to play every morning to wake them up. Lord, I thank you for the morning by Andre Crouch. Lord, I thank you for a brand new morning. And then I remember that Andre Crouch, he would go a little further on. You didn't have to wake me up this morning, but you did. And I thank you. And then he went on. He said, you didn't have to give me peace. You didn't have to give me joy. You didn't have to give me anything, but you did. And I just want to thank you. See, that's my praise like it. I just want to thank you because you didn't have to do what you did, but I want to say thank you. Oh my goodness, you need to give God some praise up in here today. Not just because it's Friday, because he did it and he didn't have to do it, but you better thank him because he did. Oh my goodness. I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. I always like to invite you to our church, Grace and Twine Ministries. Um, 3923 Deep Creek Boulevard in the city of Portsmouth, Virginia, 10 a.m. Come and just lift up, let us lift up the name of Jesus because guess what? There's real love. We say it at the gym, at the gym. Oh my goodness. And also join me tomorrow for How Would Jesus Invest? I want to share five lessons from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I want to share this. This is a special sharing. I found this uh, 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 article by Lynette Calfani Cox. Uh, she did an article in the Ebony Magazine, January 16, 2022, and it is just excellent. But it's five lessons, uh, five, let me get it right, 
five financial lessons from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You know, and see, this thing is more about, we're about the father's business. And I want to share these five financial lessons um, from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This was just an excellent piece from, again, Lynette Calfani Cox. I want to give her credit for this as I share this on tomorrow. Join me at 10 a.m. on the Gym Nugget channel and Facebook Live. So many of you have been enjoying that because, see, I am sharing um, that subject that the churches do not want to talk about, that it's almost taboo, it's almost dirty. You can talk about everything else, but you can't talk about prosperity and wealth and, and, and finances and money. No, the, the verse says the love of money is the root of all evil, but money itself is something that we need. We And the Lord, he, he intended for us to be blessed even financially. First John, no, third John 2, uh, I wish above all things that you would prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. So I want to share this tomorrow. This is, this is going to be great. So tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Five financial uh, lessons. We just celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King's um, birthday just this past week, but this is um, just great. This is a great uh, one. So you need to tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gym Nugget channel. Uh, if you missed Life Study last night, uh, Pastor was uh, his subject, BBT, a uh, biblical uh Biblical business transitions. Oh my goodness. Everything is in the Word of God. So tune in if you missed that on last night. Oh my goodness. We're just so, oh my gosh. I, I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. Especially because, you know, he didn't have to do the things he did. But he did. <laughs> he did it. I praise him for that. Because of his mercies. Because of his mercies. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. You be blessed. Stay warm. Be blessed. I'll see you next time. Bye.